training the MNIST model in carers. In this section, we will use the same model as defined in the previous section using TF. It is better to learn both carers and layers packages from TensorFlow as they could be seen at several open source codes. The objective of the course is to make you understand various offerings of TensorFlow so that you can build products on top of it. Code is read more often than it is written. Bearing in mind the preceding quote, you were shown how to implement the same model using various APIs. Open source code of any implementation of the latest algorithms will be a mix of these APIs. Next, we will start with the carer's implementation. Preparing the dataset. The MNIST data is available with carers. First, import TensorFlow. Then define a few constants such as batch size, the classes, and the number of epochs. The batch size can be selected based on the RAM available on your machine. The higher the batch size, the more RAM required. The impact of the batch size on the accuracy is minimal. The number of classes is equal to 10 here and will be different for different problems. The number of epochs determines how many times the training has to go through the full data set. If the loss is reduced at the end of all epochs, it can be set to a high number. In a few cases, training longer could give better Let us now look at the steps to create the data. Set the dimensions of the input images as well as follow. Load the data from disk to memory using the keras Util Reshape the vector into an image format, and define the input dimension for the convolution using the code given. Convert the data type to float as follows. Normalize the data by subtracting the mean of the data. Convert the categorical labels to one-shot encode. This is very different from the TensorFlow way of writing the code. The data is loaded already in memory and none of the concepts of placeholders is pre present here. Building the model. In this section, we will use a few convolution layers followed by fully connected layers for training the preceding dataset. Construct a simple sequential model with two convolution layers followed by pooling, dropout, and dense layers. A sequential model has the add method to stack layers, one above another. The first layer has 64 filters, and the second layers have 128 filters. The kernel size is 3 for all the filters. Apply the max pooling after the convolution. The output of the convolution layers is flat and connecting to a couple of fully connected layers with dropout con connections. The last layer is connected to softmax as this is a multi-class classification problem. The following code shows how to define the model. The model is just defined and has to be compiled. During compilation loss optimizer and metrics have to be defined. The loss will be cross-entropy, optimized by the Adam algorithm, and we will report the accuracy as the metric. Using the loaded data, trained and evaluated, load the training data with the training parameters and fit the model. A session is not created when care is a Then evaluate the test data as follows. The evaluation is also created without any explicit creation of the session. After finishing the run, the result should look similar to the following. 
This should give a better accuracy of 99% on the test data. Note that the training accuracy is higher than the test data, and it's always a good practice to print both of them. The difference in accuracy is due to the number of iterations. The accuracy is a bit more than the previous model created in TensorFlow because of the difference in the dataset.